بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students of Organization of Behavior Course Today inshallah we will continue chapter number 11 uh, from uh, groups to teams In the previous lecture we start uh, to uh, define uh, what do we mean by teams and uh, also we differentiate among uh, work uh, groups and uh, teams and we talked in more details about different types of teams and multi-teams uh, systems and when we can use it and today inshallah we will continue and start with uh, the first topic creating effective teams in order to create or form an effective teams we want to focus on three main categories the first one uh, which is related to resources and other contextual influences that make team effective uh, the second one which is related to the team composition and the last one which is related to the process variables uh, which is uh, needed for or influence the uh, team effectiveness okay in order to perform or create and effective teams we wanna to focus on the three main categories context or sometimes let's just call it success, uh, success factors uh, composition and the process and for each category we have subcategories uh, or factors related to each category خلينا uh, نحكي in more details about the first category اللي هي context uh, the first point uh, we wanna to provide adequate resources for team members those resources maybe human resources, financial resources, equipment and informational resources uh, that should be provided to team members in order to reach their goals. لازم نوفر المصادر uh, أو الموارد المناسبة لتيمز حتى يعني يقوموا بإنجاز الهدف المطلوب ممكن تكون عبارة عن موارد بشرية مالية uh, uh, معدات آلات uh, معلوماتية uh, لإنجاز المهام. The second point in the context focused on uh, leadership and the structure. The leadership style is مناسب لي uh, teams هو democratic style. Okay, those leadership uh, styles who have a certain role in a team to be performed and who involved in a, uh, a work with team members. Added and democratic. Uh, style for leadership بكون في له رول معينة داخل التيم بقوم بإنجازها uh, ويعني يعمل ضمن هذا الفريق لإنجاز الهدف المطلوب بس طبعا في عندي نوع من delegation في عندي نوع من decentralization فبالتالي هو الأفضل وجوده ضمن التيمز أما بالنسبة للstructure uh, ففي التيمز we need a flexible structure uh, with low uh, numbers of levels to work with each others to perform their tasks. The structure is مناسب for teams to be مرن. ما فيش في طبقات إدارية كثيرة يكون إلى حد ما flat ما يكون tall uh, organization. Uh, طبعا هذا عشان يسهل العمل ما بين أعضاء الفريق. Uh, يكون في عندي نوع من collaboration synergy العالي. Uh, another point. Uh, in the context the climate of uh, trust if members of a team uh, don't trust each other so there is a big problem لانه العمل هنا اعتمادي تبادلي فحكينا انه المخرج لشخص هو عباره عن مدخل للشخص الاخر فاذا كان فيش ثقه لمخرج الشخص الاول فبالتالي انا يعني مش حقدر اعتمد على عليه كمدخل الي لانجاز الاعمال الاخرى the fourth point which is related to performance evaluation and reward systems each individual should be rewarded according to his or her performance على individual performance and a group uh, rewards should be based on individual performance and finally we can link the uh, reward to the final output or results زي ما حكينا انه احنا طبعا uh, كنوع من التحفيز uh, يفترض انه يكون ال ال performance evaluation system مربوط ب اللي uh, هو uh, ال او عفوا ال reward system مربوط ب ال performance uh, طبعا ال performance هنا بكون uh, individual and mutual يفترض انه يتم التقييم بناء على uh, عمل كل فرد على حدة لكن في النهاية برضو بدي اطلع على ال result او ال output النهائي تبع ال group okay. 
So to talk in more details about each subcategory, the first one again, adequate resources. Every work team relies on resources outside the group to sustain it. Uh, important resources include uh, timely information, proper uh, equipment, adequate staffing, encouragement, and administrative assistance, which is, should be provided for team members in order to perform their tasks. And another subcategories uh, related to context or successful factors, leadership and the structure. Teams cannot function if they cannot agree on who is to do what and ensure all members share the workload. Agreeing on the specific of work and how they can fit together to integrate individual skills require leadership and structure, either from management or from team members themselves. Leadership is especially important in uh, multi-team systems. طبعا حكينا في المالتي تيم سيستمز لانه يكون في عندي السايز والعدد الممبرز كبير جدا فبالتالي بقول لي هنا انه الليدر شيب از امبورتنت ان ذس تايب اوف سيستمز هير ليدرز نيد تو ديليجيت ريسبونسابيلتي تو تيمز اند بلاي ذا رول اوف فاسيليتيتور ميكينج شور ذات ذا تيم ورك توجذر راذر ذان اجينست وان انذر كلايمت اوف تراست تراست از ذا فاونديشن اوف ليدر شيب it allows a team to accept and uh, commit to the leader's uh, goals and decisions. Members of effective teams uh, accept trust in their leaders. فبالتالي احنا محتاجين الى trust between the team members وما بين team members and the leaders تبعهم. They also trust each other. Interpersonal trust among uh, team members uh, facilitate cooperation, reduce the need to monitor each other's behavior, and bonds individuals through the belief that members won't take advantage of them. Amma bin Asbali last subcategories related to the context, the performance evaluation and reward system. Uh, individual performance evaluation and incentives may interfere with the development of high performance team. So, in addition to evaluating and rewarding employees for their individual contributions, management should utilize hybrid performance system that incorporate an individual member component to recognize individual contribution and group reward to recognize positive team outcomes. فاحنا لازم نركز على الاوتكم او الريزلتس كاندفيديوال بيرفورمانس وكمان على اللي هي الاوتبوت النهائي للجروب ككل بناء عليه طبعا بتم اللي هو اعطاء الريوردز طيب نتحدث على اللي هو الكاتيجوري نمبر 2 ان اوردر تو كرييت ان افكتيف تيمز اللي هي بتتحدث عن الكومبوزيشن اوكي طيب اندر ذس كاتيجوري وي هاف سب كاتيجوريز related to the composition, the first one which is related to uh, the abilities of members. Once we talk about composition, here we talk about different individuals and uh, those individuals have different characteristics. Okay, so we are going to talk about the qualities of the members of the members of this group. So, the first point, again, we talk about ability or the abilities of members. Uh, here we talk about the skills which is needed uh, for the uh, team members such as technical skills okay, which is needed by uh, all team members uh, the problem solving skills also and the interpersonal skills uh, which is needed to communicate uh, the team members with each other to perform their goals so again, once we talk about the abilities of members, here we talk about um, the skills, knowledge, competences, experiences which is needed for uh, team members in order to reach their goals or objectives. Another point which is related to this category, the composition category, the personality. As we said before, that um, each person has a specific uh, personality or his or her own uh, personality according to the big five traits. But if you have a lot of traits which is needed for team members in order to reach their goals or objectives, such as uh, team members needed to be openness, uh, consciousness, also uh, 
uh, is very important for team members so they can focus more in, uh, or to achieve their assignments and goals وبالتالي في عندي مجموعة من التريتس لازم تكون موجودة في أعضاء الفريق لإنجاز الأعمال بشكل أسرع uh, Another point which is related to composition allocating uh, roles uh, it means that the role uh, for each person or for each member of the team in order to help each uh, other uh, to reach their goals and those roles may be such as linker role uh, which is needed to coordinate and integrate uh, members uh, creator role, uh, advisor role, uh, promoter role, uh, assessor role, organizer, uh, producer, controller role uh, maintainer role and we have different role for each one uh, another point which is related to composition diversity it is very important uh, in teams uh, to have a diverse uh, members uh, and different members so each one uh, has its own personality its own assignment uh, attitudes skills uh, but it should be controlled this diversity should be controlled by the organization to overcome uh, any problems arise from it okay for diversity again احنا حكينا انه ممكن تكون uh, سلبيه لكن برضه ممكن تكون ايجابيه لازم نعمل نوع من الكنترولنج باي ذا اورجانيزيشن يفترض انها تكون تضل ضمن الحد uh, المعقول الايجابي diversity هنا بنحكي على team members انه في نوع من diversity among اللي هو team members whether in attitudes personality cultures skills assignments and so on another point which is related to team uh, composition uh, also uh, the size and here we talk about the size uh, of the team the smaller size of team the less the problem expected and it is become more efficient فكل ما كان حجم التيم اقل كل ما بكون افضل كل ما كانت الفعاليه فيه افضل وايضا اللي هي المشاكل بتكون اقل لكن هذا لا يعني انه احنا محتاجين في بعض الاحيان اللي هو لارج تيمز ولكن ان جنرال سمول سايز اوف تيمز هاف ا ليس بروبلم اند مور افشنت ذان ذا لارج وان ذا لاست بوينت ويتش از ريليتد تو كومبوزيشن الفلكسيبيليتي uh, individuals um, or the team members must have multi skills and sometimes uh, they can rotate um, uh, from one uh, يعني role or from one task to another um, to perform a specific task or a specific goal or objectives فبالتالي لازم يكون في عندي نوع من المرونة احيانا بحتاج انه اعضاء الفريق عملهم روتيشن آه طبعا فبالتالي لازم يكون في عندهم المهاره والخبره الكافيه لانجاز اي عمل مطلوب منهم so we can go through uh, the second category related to uh, forming or creating an effective uh, team uh, the first one related to the composition اللي هي abilities uh, of members teams uh, performance depend uh, in part on knowledge skills and abilities of individual members abilities set limits on what members can do and how effectively they will perform on a team and the research revealed uh, insight into team composition and performance first we uh, solve complex problems such as re-engineering and a simple line high ability teams and so on uh, also another uh, results for uh, this research uh, high ability teams are also more adaptable to, to change uh, situation they can uh, more effectively apply existing uh, knowledge to new problems finally the ability of teams uh, leader matter uh, smart team leaders help less uh, uh, intelligent team members when they struggle with the task okay فبالتالي اللي هي abilities very important for team members in order to solve complex problem uh, coordinate with each other uh, feel a changeable the situation محتاجة برضو هذه abilities وايضا لي, uh, uh, leaders عساس انه يساعد الناس اللي هي الضعيفة في هذا التيم Another point related to composition, the personality of members. 
حكينا انه وي هاف ديفرنت تريدز شود بي ان ذا تيم ممبرز اللي حتساعدهم في uh, تحقيق وانجاز المهام المطلوبه منهم uh, what about other traits ايش التريتس المطلوبه teams uh, with a high level of openness to experience tend to perform better and research indicates that constructive task conflict enhance the effect open team member communicate better with one another and throw out uh, more ideas uh, which make teams with open people more creative and innovative فهذه واحدة من التريتس اللي لازم تكون موجودة ضمن التيم ممبرز research is not clear uh, on the outcomes of extraversion but one study indicate that high mean level of extraversion in the team can increase uh, the level of helping behavior uh, particularly in a climate of cooperation thus the personality traits of individuals are as important to team as the overall personality characteristics of the team. Allocation of roles, we can identify nine potential team member roles. Uh, successful work team have select people to play all these roles based on their uh, skills and their uh, abilities and their preferences. Wahakena roles متعددة ومختلفة. Diversity of members. Um, the degree to which members, uh, how we can define uh, the diversity, the degree to which uh, members of work unit, group, teams, or departments share a common uh, demographic attribute such as age, sex, rage, race, uh, educational uh, level, or length of service in the organization. This is called organizational demography. diversity. Increased conflict makes uh, membership less attractive, so employees are more likely to quit. Similarly, the loser, uh, losers of conflict are more apt to leave uh, voluntary or be forced out. The conclusion is that diversity negatively affects team performance. Okay, وزي ما في بعض الدراسات بتحكي انه there is a negative uh, side for uh, diversity كمان diversity is very important for uh, teams لانه في لها يعني ايضا جانب ايجابي في عندي diversity في skills diversity في attitudes okay. ولكن لازم يكون في عندي نوع من controlling uh, by the organization according to the needed level of diversity Cultural differences evidence indicates that cultural uh, diversity interferes with the team processes at least in short term. In general, cultural diversity طبعا إذا بنحكي عن الكالتشر تعتبر واحدة أيضا من diversities اللي بتواجهها teams seems to be an asset for task that call for a variety of or, uh, viewpoints but currently uh, heterogeneous teams have more difficulty learning to work with each other and solving the problems. The good news is that these difficulties seems to be disappear uh, with the time. Okay, for cultural differences, talk about even diversity, can be معيق من المعيقات لأن كل culture can be مختلفة. فالتنفيذ ممكن يكون مختلف. فممكن نج نصل إلى وجهات نظر متعارضة. لكن بحكي لي إنه the good news إنه ممكن هذه ال الصعوبات يتم تخلص منها التخفيف منها مع مرور الوقت فبدو التيم ممبرز يتعودوا على بعضهم البعض size of teams most experts agree that keeping teams small is key to improving group effectiveness ليه لأنه المشاكل بتكون إلى حد ما أقل أما بين أعضاء الفريق بكونوا في عندهم نوع من الكفاءة أعلى so members of large teams have terrible coordinating with one another, especially under time of pressure. When a natural working unit is larger and you want a team effort, consider the breaking the group into sub-teams. If you have a team كبير في عندك نوع من conflict صار فيفترض أنه أنت تصغر من حجم هذا التيم بأنه تفصل المجموعة كلها إلى sub-teams. Okay, طيب. Uh, another point also related to uh, the uh, composition in members' uh, preferences. Here we talk about interests. For example, a social person preferable to be on a team member or to be one of the team member, while individualistic person are less able to 
بي ا جود تيم ممبرز احنا بنحكي عن عن التفضيل يا ترى انت بتفضل انه تشتغل ك عمل فردي بمفردك او انه انت بتحب تكون اجتماعي تتخلط مع الجميع وتعمل ضمن الفريق طبعا الافراد اللي بفضلوا يكون في نوع من الاجتماعيات وبفضلوا العمل مع الاخرين هم هدول الناس اللي انا محتاجاهم ضمن الفريق تبعي The last category uh, for creating and forming an effective teams which is related to the team processes variables So the final category related to team effectiveness include process variables such as uh, member commitment to common plan and purposes, specific team goals, team efficacy, team identity, team cohesion, uh, mental models, conflict levels, and social loafing. This will be uh, especially important in a large team and in team that are highly interdependent. Okay, so let's start to talk about those points in more details the first one which is related to common uh, purpose uh, everyone and every member within a team should know the direction where we are going okay uh, what we are going to be to achieve so if the team is not agree on uh, an objective or the purpose uh, to be achieved uh, so we don't have a team or they are useless Okay, فلازم يكون في عندي نوع من الـ 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 يعني الاتفاق على الـ purpose على direction اللي احنا حابين نوصل له another point which is related to the processes اللي هي team efficacy حكينا على الـ efficacy ولكن ك على صعيد الـ individuals لحالهم و حكينا انه الـ efficacy uh, it means uh, that up to what extent the individuals believe that they are uh, able to accomplish the assignment or a certain job or a certain task okay also for a team uh, the uh, efficacy it means up to what extent team members believe that they are able to accomplish a certain task or a certain role another point which is related uh, to uh, the processes variables the mental models it means a way of thinking and the approaches which is used to deal with uh, assignments okay so the team members usually develop different mental models how to deal with different situations this is the mental models okay another point also related to the processes variables the conflict level uh, once we talk about conflict it means uh, it is not always means a negative uh, side ممكن يكون لها negative and positive side the positive conflict uh, it is related to the discussion the uh, competition diversity okay, which can energize individuals more so it is very important uh, the, the conflict نفسها, but it should be also controlled the diversity should be controlled the discussion ما يكون مفتوح على آخر competition also is very important but it should be controlled the last point which is related to this uh, category is social loafing uh, طبعا حكينا عن هذه المشكلة مسبقا uh, social loafing it should be controlled and it should be minimized uh, and it is very important to maintain the uh, number of uh, team members according to the need only مش لازم انه احنا يكون uh, عدد الافراد المكونة للتيم يكون كبير كتير لازم نختار الافراد اللي احنا معنيين فيهم اللي ممكن يعني uh, يكون لهم دور فعال داخل uh, هذا الفريق so again it is very important to maintain the number of teams um, or the team members according to the need only so it means that each member have a certain task غير هيك مش لازم احنا نضيف اي شخص يعني لاغراض اخرى لانه حيزيد هيك الحجم فبالتالي حيكون في عندي صعوبة في coordination and the collaboration among each of them so again once we talk about the team processes we talk about common plan and purpose teams uh, that consistently perform better have a clear sense of what need or what needs to be done and how this is this sounds uh, obvious but um, many teams uh, ignore this fundamental processes um, effective teams show uh, reflexivity meaning they reflect on 
adjust their purpose when necessary. Team must have a good plan, but it needs to be willing and able to adapt when condition call for it. Uh, specific goals. Successful teams translate their common purpose into specific, measurable, realistic performance goals. Specific goals facilitate clear communication. Team goals uh, should be challenging, uh, difficult, but achievable goals uh, raise team performance on those criteria for which they are set. أما بالنسبة للتيم efficacy it means a team's collective uh, belief among team members that uh, they can succeed at specific tasks or specific uh, assignment. What can management do to increase team efficacy? Two options are helping uh, the team achieve uh, small success that build confidence and providing a training to improve members' technical and interpersonal skills. The greater the ability uh, of team members, the more likely the team will develop confidence and ability to, devel to deliver on that confidence. So, Bittali, in order to increase the team efficacy, we hear uh, or we want to build a confidence among team members and also provide training in order to uh, improve uh, the members' technical and interpersonal skills. Team identity, therefore, by recognizing individuals' specific skills and abilities, as well as creating a climate of respect and uh, inclusion, leaders and members can uh, foster positive team identity and realize improved team outcomes. So what do we mean by team identity? Team members' uh, affinity uh, for and uh, sense uh, of uh, belongingness or to his or her team. For team cohesion, the term team cohesion uh, member uh, members are emotionally attached to one another. في نوع من التعاضد ما بينهم and motivated toward the team uh, because of their attachment. Team cohesion is a useful tool to predict team outcomes. Teams with low cohesion and simple tasks, on another hand, are not likely to respond to incentives with greater uh, creativity. Team cohesion is a stronger predictor of team performance, such uh, that when cohesion is harmed, performance may be too. So, a negative relationship uh, are one driver of reduced cohesion. Okay, so cohesion among the team members is very uh, important to improve or increase uh, the performance. أما بالنسبة للمنتال مودلز uh, it is a team member's knowledge and believes about how the work get done by teams okay. uh, it is organi organized uh, mental representations of the key elements within teams environment that team member share if team members have the wrong mental models which is particularly likely in teams under uh, acute stress their performance Suffer. So again, the mental models are about the way of thinking, the approaches which can be used to deal with different assignments or different tasks. So the team members uh, want to develop different mental models to deal with different situations. Conflict levels. The conflict has a complex relationship with team performance and it is not necessarily bad. It can be something that uh, when teams are performing uh, non-routine activities, disagreement about task uh, content called task conflict. In another word, both too much and too little disagreement about how a team should uh, initially perform the creative task can inhibit performance. فبالتالي لازم يكون في عندي نوع من controlling على هذه الconflicts. Social loafing effective teams uh, undermine this tendency by making members individually and jointly accountable for the team's uh, purpose, goals, and approach. Therefore, uh, members should be clear on what they are individually and jointly uh, responsible for on the team. Okay, so again, احنا لازم يكون في هذا الحالة الممبرز اللي أنا بدي إياهم هم ممبرز فعليا إلهم دور أساسي في الفريق لازم يتم إضافة أشخاص فقط إلهم تاسك معين ضمن الفريق 
So again, members should be clear on what they are individually and jointly responsible for the team. طيب. The last topic which is uh, related to this chapter, turning individuals into team players. Okay. متى ممكن احنا يعني نركز او يعني عفوا نحول العمل الفردي الى عمل ضمن فريق في عندي stages the first stage for turning uh, individuals uh, into team players selecting or hiring team players uh, during selecting uh, process we can test the individuals if they have a certain level of abilities, skills, uh, personal traits or attitudes so I حسب هذا الخطوة بتم اختيار الأفراد المناسبين Selecting or hiring team players Some people already possess the interpersonal skills to be effective team players Therefore managers when hiring team members can make certain that candidates can fulfill uh, their team roles as well as technical requirements Okay, فبالتالي مش لازم نعين الأشخاص بشكل عشوائي الافتراض أنه يكون في عندهم uh, specific skills uh, such as problem solving skills interpersonal skills في عندي personal traits لازم تكون موجودة فيهم attitudes معينة uh, abilities لازم أبحث عنها and so on so personal traits appear to make some people better candidates for working in a diverse teams than another طيب next step Training, uh, creating team players. One of the most important mechanisms to uh, enhance and improve members' abilities and skills is to train them. Okay, فاحنا هنعملهم hiring وعلى أساس إنه نعملهم improving كمان enhancements. نع رح نعملهم uh, training to improve their abilities and the skills حسب ما إحنا محتاجين ضمن هذا الفريق. So training specialists conduct exercises that allow employees to experience the Uh, satisfaction or teamwork can uh, provide workshops help uh, employees improve their problem solving communication negotiation conflict management and coaching skills so, uh, the last step uh, for turning from individuals to teamwork rewarding providing incentives to be a good team player if we don't appreciate the work of members uh, they are not going to respond positively so we need to have a reward system which is based on a performance appraisal system so traditional organizations reward system must be rewarded to encourage cooperative uh, efforts rather than competitive ones so the last topic here where teams aren't always the answer It means, uh, or we can in this passage answer the question whether teams always needed or not. هل إحنا لازم دائما نكون محتاجين للteams أو إنه أحيانا بكون لجروبس أفضل أو إنه الindividual work يكون أفضل. Okay. فللإجابة على هذا السؤال uh, محتاجين إنه إحنا نحدد الآتي. The first thing, up to what extent we need diversity, uh, different skills or multi skills. Okay. فكل مكان محتاجين إلى diversity أكتر في the skills في the attitudes في the cultures so we need a team والعكس صحيح okay. إذا مش عايزين يكون في نوع من diversity ما بين the individuals or the team members فإحنا محتاجين للعمل ضمن a group okay. فليس إحنا داخل المنظمات دائما نحتاج لفريق عمل أحيانا يمكن إنجاز العمل ضمن a groups طيب Another point, up to what extent the output needed greater than individual efforts. Okay. بعض الأهداف إحنا ممكن يتم إنجازها بشكل فردي لأنها بسيطة. لكن البعض الآخر بحتاج إلى فريق لحل مشكلة معينة ولتحقيق هذا الهدف. فإحنا لأي درجة محتاجين اللي هو الفاينل أوتبوت يكون ك من الجروب ككل أو من التيم ككل أو أنه إحنا محتاجين لجهود فردية فقط هذا بيوجهنا إلى استخدام تيمز أو individuals or groups The third point uh, to be focused here up to what extent we need people to do different assignment or tasks هل إحنا محتاجين نفس الأشخاص 
الى عمل نفس التاسك دائما ولا نفس الاشخاص انه انا لو عملت لهم روتيشن في اي مكان ممكن ينفذوا اي اساينمنت انا محتاجها فكل ما انا كنت بدي اياهم ينفذوا ديفرنت اساينمنتس فبالتالي اكيد راح احتاج الى التيمز سو ات مينز وي نيد ا فاريتي اوف سكيلز اند كومبيتنسز اند نولجز فبالتالي احنا محتاجين في هذه الحاله لا التيمز في حال احنا محتاجين بيبل هو دو ديفرنت assignments لانه محتاجين الى سكيلز مختلفه for performing those assignments okay so team work uh, takes more time and often more resources than individual work teams have increased communication demand conflict to manage and meeting to run so the benefits of using teams have to exceed the cost اذا كانت ال benefits اعلى من costs في هذه الحالة ممكن أنا أستخدم التيمز and that's not always possible مش دائما إحنا محتاجين إلى التيمز so first uh, can the work uh, we want to hear to answer some questions in order to uh, recognize whether we, we want a team or a uh, group or to work individually can the work be done better by more than one والله إذا بيحتاج أو يعني بكون أفضل وفعال إذا نستخدم أكثر من فرد لأنه محتاجين أكثر من سكيلز وبرسبكتفز مختلفة فبالتالي حنتوجه إلى التيمز. The second one does the work create a common purpose or a set of goals uh, for uh, the people in the group that is more than the aggregate of individual goals هل عندي الأهداف في عليها نوع من التوحد؟ أو نوع يعني من الإجماع في هذا الحالة طبعا إذا كان في عندي common goals فبالتالي ممكن إحنا يكون في عنا teams okay. um, The final test is to determine whether the members of the group uh, are interdependent في التيمز إحنا حكينا أنه يفترض يكون في عندي نوع من السينرجي and uh, نوع من الديبندابلتي أو نوع من الانتردبندنت among each of them So using teams makes sense when there is interdependence among tasks The success of the whole uh, depends on the success of each one And the success of each one depends on the success of each other Okay uh, So again uh, If we wanted to, uh, to answer the question whether the teams always lead or not فإذا كانت مرة ثانية ال benefits of using the teams exceed the cost فبالتالي احنا راح نتوجه الى التيمز لازم نحدد بعض الامور up to extend the organization need diversity diverse skills uh, so it means that it is need a team up to what extent the, the output needed greater than the individual uh, effort within the organization والله اذا كانت المحتاج uh, الى انه ال output الكلي يكون اعلى من individual efforts أو إنه العمل ضمن الفريق الأوت تبعته أعلى من العمل الفردي فبالتالي أنا راح أحتاج إلى تيمز and up to what extent we need uh, people who can perform different uh, assignments and different tasks it means they have a variety of skills and competences فبالتالي حنحتاج إلى التيمز وإلا في uh, الأحوال الأخرى نحتاج إلى uh, الجروبس أو إلى العمل الفردي This is the end of chapter uh, number 11 Thank you for your listening and good luck